Hey guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Arising for the weeks of March 18th through the 31st, 2019. So I have already shuffled and cut the cards. Let's go ahead and begin here. I want to thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. I ask that you all please continue to do so. Uh, remember, these are general readings, so they may or may not resonate, um, but hopefully... Um, it does give you some clarity. Now, if you're wanting a personal reading, you can email to Tarot at gmail.com. That information is in the description box below. Um, and if you're wanting to talk on the phone, uh, you would have to wait until I upload that video stating that I'm currently taking calls. If you don't see that video uploaded, then I'm probably not taking calls. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get started here. We have the central issue as the Three of Swords. Came out reversed. I don't really read reversals, but when it does, I kind of pay attention to that because, you know, there's a reason why it came out reversed. Uh, Three of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, Strength. I have the Queen of Cups, Seven of Cups. Three of Wands, Five of Cups, and the King of Cups. Um, okay, so there is something going on where maybe some of you are going through some sort of breakup or timeout um, because it could have been an affair. It could have been some sort of betrayal. Um, you know, there, there could be some sort of love triangle or third party incidents here. Um, maybe there is some sort of separation just because you didn't know what you wanted. Like, I don't know what I want. Maybe you can't figure it out. Maybe there's a need for you to really put things into perspective. Um, and maybe you're realizing that you've only been with someone because of um, a physical attraction or because the sex was good. And maybe it was just something just really shallow. And maybe it was fun, but now you're like, you know what? I want more. You know, I want something deeper. I want something else. Um, but before you can make sure, it's like you need to think about it. So maybe you're not like officially calling it quits, but you know, there is like, hey, I think we need to separate. Or maybe this is what they have done to you. But it does look like, you know, you guys might be going through some sort of breakup or separation. If it's not you, then maybe your love interest is going through a breakup or separation. Um, so two, it looks like two people just aren't on the same page. They're, well, the way it looks to me, they're, they're faced this way. They're opposite from one another. They're disinterested. Emotionally, there is something missing or lacking. Um, I feel like it's more so in regards to betrayal. It could be a situation going on where, you know, there are fertility issues and, you know, having trouble conceiving, which brings some sort of, um, it brings the relationship down. Like you guys could start blaming one another for, you know, and which is not the right thing to do, but you're just speaking out of being hurt. Um, but I feel like it's more so about betrayal here. Someone's loyalty could have been tested. Um, so I feel like someone was trying to resist their desire for another person. But, you know, maybe the attraction took over, you know, which caused that separation or that third party to enter here. Also, some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Leo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Uh, also, those of you that have been single for a while, so there's no breakup, I feel that um, you're getting ready to hear from an ex because your ex misses you. They've been thinking about you, so they're going to reach out. Um... <clears throat> I feel like there's a need for you to keep your options open. It's, it's like, I don't know. It's just like there's a need for you to keep things open, especially if you are just 
kind of dating different people. I feel like your ex is somehow thrown into the mix. Um, but you're just kind of like, I don't know. I just want to keep my options open. Not ready to make any final decisions just yet. Um, so I feel like there's a need for you to not make a decision until you figure out exactly what you want. Let me kind of tap into this um, Seven of Cups here. I am seeing like some something happened behind your back. Like either you're, you did something behind your partner's back or they did something behind your back. And it came out into the open. Or you saw something that disappointed you. I feel like someone saw that somebody was having an affair. Even if it was just an emotional affair. Like someone has been confiding in someone else. Now, for some of you, I feel like this is super random. Like you're in a relationship and your relationship is fine, which I don't know why you're watching this. But I feel like your relationship is fine, but you guys are literally watching a sad movie together and eating popcorn. Um, I don't know, maybe this movie is like conjuring up some sort of feelings. Um, but I feel like for some of you, this is just a fantasy situation. It's not, it's not happening to you at all. For some of you, this is about some sort of dream. Like you feel like something was revealed to you in a dream. And if you're in a relationship, like you feel like your partner's cheating on you or you felt like something wasn't right, you become very guarded with them. You're like, I know my dreams don't lie to me. My dreams don't lie to me. Um, so I feel like for some of you, you're being defensive because of a dream that you've had. Um... But I also see this as someone being distant from the other person because they're having an emotional affair with someone. Like they're uh, emotionally invested into someone else. So now they've been giving you the cold shoulder and acting weird. Or, or you know, this could be your energy. You're, you're the one having an emotional affair and being very um, guarded and distant and weird with your partner. Um, I also see that somebody is waiting for somebody waiting for a response or waiting to hear back from somebody um this could be a long distance relationship or it's just distant because you guys have not been communicating i also feel like someone is confronting the other person about a relationship it's like did you sleep with this person are you involved with this person I need you to tell me the truth so someone is de demanding answers because they're they're just they just feel like something isn't right or out of place also I'm getting uh, Libra Gemini Aquarius energy as well if you're in a relationship this might just be like a little rough patch that you guys will overcome For some of you, it's about wanting to just separate yourself from this person because they cheated. And so you're like, that was the last straw. No more. I'm done. And I mean it this time. Um, and so somebody is leaving and going off on their own so that they can heal. It's like, I don't want to talk to you anymore until I have healed. So someone needs their space. They need a break until they are healed within their heart here. Now, I also see a situation where someone is torn between two people. Someone is having a should I stay or should I go moment. Or someone is saying now that we are broken up, should I pursue this other person? So somebody is thinking, considering um, pursuing another
Some of you are ready for something new. I'm seeing a couple of things going on. I'm seeing a relationship going on between somebody else's back. Um, I'm seeing that and I'm also seeing like the minute you break up with someone, either you return to your ex or your your new ex has gone back to their ex. It's like right after we break up, they went to their ex and I'm seeing someone being very uh, jealous um, and maybe even wanting revenge. I'm seeing someone doing something out of spite. I also feel like there are, there's something about this story where energies are kind of mixing. Hmm. I see two people having a, an, an emotional affair here. Uh, especially too because you know something has been going wrong in the relationship like two people have been growing apart two people are just I feel like they're trying to hold on or kind of trying to hold on to the re reputation of the relationship but I feel like beyond the surface these two people have grown apart so you, if you're in a relationship, I almost feel like you, you just really are not connecting with your partner anymore. And especially that is why your eyes have wandered and uh, been connecting with someone else. Or that's why you've fallen in love with someone else because of uh, the disconnect. For some of you too, I feel like this could be residual energy. Like this is something that already happened um, if that's the case, this is just something that you're still needing to heal from then. Like you haven't fully healed from that past scenario. Like not a day goes by where you don't replay the last few moments of that relationship. So something's going on where for some of you, I feel like this is residual energy. But for others of you, this is something that, you know, you're going through. Um being attracted to someone else and starting to see each other in private or in secret. So I'm seeing like a, a relationship that begins in secret. And I almost feel like it's not necessarily that someone's cheating, but I almost feel like the breakup hasn't been official though. It's like, maybe the two of you are like, okay, we know we don't, we're not connecting anymore or something isn't right anymore. Um, but instead of just you guys having sitting down and having that conversation about going your separate ways, emotionally, you guys just kind of are both doing things behind the other person's back. So whoever you're with, it's like they're secretly calling, texting someone and spending time with somebody else and you're doing the same thing. Um... I'm also getting, for some of you that are in a new relationship, your ex is still lingering around. So it's not necessarily about cheating, but it's like your ex is still lingering around. Two, I don't know if somebody is misleading their ex or stringing the ex alone, making them think that there's a possibility of a reconciliation. Um, but I see like an ex being really jealous and 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 just upset about someone else's connection. Like they're looking at the new relationship, especially if you are seen in public or if you're posting things like this ex is seeing it and is just jealous of the fact that you've connected with someone else. I also see something about someone's child being caught in the middle. So I don't know if this is a baby's mom, baby's father type situation, or like every time the baby's mom has to come and pick up the child, she has to see you and him together, you know, something like that. Or the father, the baby's father has to see it. The baby's father comes around and he sees you all in love and it, it makes them jealous. So overall, I'm getting like the energies of a jealous ex 
Um, and I, I just kind of get that someone is going through a separation or a breakup here. Yeah. So I hope that this makes sense. I hope it resonated. Um, please feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and many blessings to you.